What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Lure Painting with Zach Baker. I'm Zach Baker and today we're going to be painting. It's like a pumpkin seed sunfish pattern. There's so many different variations of the sunfish, but we're going to call this one the pumpkin seed color. Several videos ago, I had used this stencil that I'd picked up at a craft store. It was in the clearance aisle and a whole bunch of you guys were asking where you could get one and I couldn't find a link or anything like that. Well, good news, Barlow's Tackle has a stencil that's very similar to it. Uh, I picked one of those up and I've been messing around with it. I really like it. Second thing, the blank that we're going to be using today is just over three inches. I think it's three and a quarter inch. It's like a little bluegill sunfish uh, blank. This was sent over from Barlow's Tackle and I'll have the link to this blank and the stencil that I'm using both below. And some exciting news with both of these is they are affiliate links. So if you guys use the link I have below and purchase something like these from their website, it will benefit the Baker Builds channel. It allows me to get some more blanks and stuff in like that to do videos with. I think I've barely brushed the surface of lure building and painting. Uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff out there. So again, if you use the link below, it's an affiliate link. Just wanted to make sure you guys are aware of that. Today we're gonna to be using five different colors and I've already prepped and did a base coat of white on this blank. If you guys are curious how I prep my baits, I'll have that video linked below. So without further ado, let's go ahead and paint this bait. Okay, I'd already mentioned that I did a base coat of white and then something else that's good to know on blanks like this where it's kind of like a banner material. I don't really know what it is, but that's what it's like some sort of fabric almost that makes up the joint. Uh, I put some little rubber bands in there to help protect it from paint and also the clear coat I'm gonna be using. So I'm gonna be spraying the clear coat on this one. And I don't want that to harden up on those joints and make the bait not be able to move in the water. Next thing we're going to be doing is moving on to a sunrise yellow. And this is a transparent uh, and opaque will work just as well. So we're gonna do the whole belly. We're gonna come up just below the gill plate and make sure we cover all those fins on the bottom. So you can see there with that yellow, we went about a third of the way up on the bait. Uh, I'm gonna hit with the hairdryer real quick and then we're gonna do just a little bit more right down here, make sure we have it built up nice and solid. Next color up is this blue and then everything is still white on the bait. We're gonna go ahead and cover it in that blue. I don't wanna go too much into the yellow cause we'll turn, it'll you know, make like a green color. Uh, but best that we can, we're gonna try to stop it where that yellow is. And we're gonna make sure we get the gill plate nice and blue. And there we go, now we got a yellow and a blue fishing lure. I think it looks pretty juicy. Uh, what I'm going to do is clean out the airbrush and then the rest of the work is all stencil work. I'm actually gonna to touch this up a little bit right here. Okay, now I'm going to clean out the airbrush uh, and we're gonna move on to, it's a transparent bright red. And this is where the stencil pattern is gonna come in. So as you can see, there's a bunch of different size ones. For this entire bait, we're gonna stick to this corner. It's got a really fine, detailed, little bitty tiny holes and I think that's gonna work perfect for this bait. Uh, if you're using a bigger blank or you're going for a different effect, all these bigger ones would work better for that. But for this one, I found out that this small left top corner works the best, so we're gonna stick to that. I've got the bright red loaded up in there, and what it's gonna do when we layer it on top of this blue is kind of give it a little bit of a purple hue, uh, which is gonna look pretty cool. So this is kind of like a paper material, so you don't wanna soak it with paint. So I would recommend hitting it with a hairdryer in between a couple of coats once it starts getting wet. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of hold this up there. It's a little bit tricky, uh, but it's not too bad once you get the hang of it. And there we go, we got our first little section down. Now I will say the better that you can hold it on there, the more crisp of lines you're gonna get and the bait's going to look better. Uh, what you can do is like what I'm doing, start at the top, cause we're gonna be adding some black up there later. So if you mess anything up, you're gonna cover up some of it with the black. It also helps if I kind of lay this a little bit flatter and then kind of hold that right up there. And then something else you can do too is you take these corners and kind of bend them. That way it'll kind of match the contour of the bait. And then we're just gonna go section by section here. 
and then now would be a good time since I'm gonna move down to hit this with the hair dryer a little bit. So you can see a huge difference there between where I've got it held down nice and tight versus a little bit of haziness. Uh, makes a big difference. And we're going to be doing the entire bait, excluding the gill plate and this red, trying to keep it with all the really fine, small little dots, especially down here at the bottom. And I'm gonna also cover up the tail with this as well. Okay, then we're gonna work our way around the gill plate here, going over top of that yellow. Just doing little bitty sections at a time. And what I'd really like to do is be able to get some down here also. It's a little bit harder, but I think we can get it. Okay, then we're gonna work our way over to the front part of the belly here. Very nice. And then we're gonna do a little bit, uh, actually we're gonna leave the top fins alone because we're gonna come back in with some black too. So I'm gonna repeat the same thing on this other side. And also now would be a good time to hit this with the hair dryer. That way my fingers don't get smudged the paint when I'm holding the stencil. So far, so good. Uh, let me clean out the brush. That way we can move on to the black. Okay, last color is some transparent black. Opaque black works just as well. I just like the way the transparent sprays through the gun a little bit better. Up here on the gill plate, I want to do kind of some medium size. So I don't know if you can see on this pattern, uh, it's really thin. Let me find something white to put behind it. So I know that helps. That way you can see a little bit better. Really tiny, small, ones up there and it gets a little bit wider on down into the really wide ones i'm going to try to go with the medium size right here in the middle and that's what we're going to use on the gill plate everything else on the bait we're going to be using the really fine up as high as we can but right on the gill plate i think it's going to look pretty sharp the medium size portion of the stencil on there maybe do a little bit more nice nice i like it I like it. And then what I'm going to do is go ahead and kind of straighten this bait out if I can. And we're gonna go ahead and darken up just around the eye. We're gonna come back and do some more black, but I like to darken everything up first. That way I can tell how much black I need. Gonna darken up around the eye and just along the back here. And I'm actually not gonna make this a solid black. I'm just gonna do a light coat of black because we're gonna come back and put some black speckles on top of it. Same thing on the dorsal fins, just lightly hitting it. And the tail, just doing the tips. Okay, I'm not exactly sure what I was saying because my GoPro screen went haywire and I thought it was getting ready to explode. But I think we're back in business, so we're gonna try to finish this up really quick before uh, it shuts off or whatever exactly it did. Uh, whatever I was saying earlier, I'm gonna be using the really fine portion of the stencil just along the top here. We're not gonna go down too much because it'll make the bait too dark and cover up too much of the pretty blue underneath there. But I'm gonna go just along the top there and then right across the head. Again, still using the transparent black. We're gonna come up here and do it right on the head because now we're going to do it in the solid black, which actually, okay, solid black. And let's see if we can add just a couple more up here by the eye, if it'll let me. Beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna repeat that on this side. Actually, hair dryer first, everybody, hair dryer first. Again, kind of using the medium size splotches on the gill plate here and then back to the small ones a 
And a couple more right above that there gill plate. Okay, real quick while we're here, the paint's in the airbrush. Let's try to add some to these top fins. If they show up, cool. If not, that's okay. All right, I don't think I did that on the other side, so we're gonna try to do that. And I think some nice dark red eyes will go really good with this pattern. I cannot wait to see the clear coat on this. It's gonna kind of make all those colors pop. Oh yeah, that's gonna look pretty good. Gonna look pretty good. Let me grab some glue. And I also just noticed that my microphone, because I turned it off earlier when the GoPro did its thing, and I never hit record again. So I apologize that the quality of the audio wasn't as good for this last portion. But I think you guys could still probably hear me good enough. Okay, then we're going to put the other side in. And there we have it. I think it turned out pretty good. I might take a little red paint with a, with a paintbrush and kind of put it in where the mouth is supposed to be at. Uh, but otherwise, it's ready for clear coat. Uh, this is going to be a video. Eventually, this is what I'm going to be using for the clear coat. I'm spraying it through an old airbrush. It's actually given to me by a friend. I haven't quite got it mastered yet, but I think for baits like this one, uh, it definitely makes clear coating them quicker whenever you can just spray it on rather than trying to brush on individual spots. So... Uh, once I get it mastered, it will, of course, be a YouTube video. But for now, that's what I'm going to be using if you guys want to look it up and figure it out on your own. Uh, if you figure anything out that works really good using this stuff, make sure to let you, let me know. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to let this sit out and air dry for a while before I clear coat it. And then we'll come back and take a look at what she looks like all finished up. <laughs>